The thing about tornadoes is it's difficult to predict exactly where they will touch down. They form fast, dissipate quick, and can leave a long path of destruction in their wake. But to be better prepared for these storms, you first got to understand how they form. Simply put, most tornadoes form from thunderstorms. You have relatively cool dry air coming in from one direction and warm humid air coming in from another. When those two meet, that's where things get interesting. Wind shear rolls the air into a horizontal vortex or a spinning tube. Once a thunderstorm forms, in comes the updraft. The updraft is the rising motion in the thunderstorm created by the instability in the atmosphere. That rising motion then tilts the vortex upright. From there, if all the ingredients are right, the vortex starts to spin and grow, forming a tornado. Of course, it's important to remember that a lot of things have to go right for a funnel cloud to touch down, making it a tornado. In fact, they're one of Mother Nature's weirder creations. They most likely travel southwest to northeast, but can backtrack if hit by winds from the core of the thunderstorm. They also have a preferred time and place. Ever heard of Tornado Alley? Keep your eyes peeled from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. That's when they're most likely to occur. And finally, the most deadly twisters are nighttime tornadoes oh. because it's hard to be on guard when you're asleep. Weather yeah. is fascinating. Totally. Um, yeah, and it's important to remember, guys, that you know tornadoes can happen anywhere. We've seen reports of tornadoes sometimes in, in Washington State. Mm -hmm. Obviously, not just anywhere, but anytime, especially here in, in Florida, we can get them any time of the year. Uh, and surprisingly so, while they're they're weak and typically short-lived here in the Tampa Bay area we have some of the highest occurrence of tornadoes in the entire country. Really? Yeah. And some of that's attributed to tropical weather and hurricanes, but mm -hmm. on the average, we have some of the, the highest rates of tornadoes are anywhere. And, and June, one of the busiest months. Yeah, especially look up towards September, the peak of hurricane season. That's why we have that 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 peak of what are short-lived, weak tornadoes coming off of tropical. We seasons. talk about water spots a lot here too. And, and that's and you know water spots technically, if a water spot moves ashore, mm -hmm. that would technically be a tornado. Obviously, not like what we're getting out in the plain states, right. but right. still technically, right. a water spot moving ashore is a tornado. Good stuff. Yep. Thanks, Grant.